Hello, and welcome to day 7 of the DIY Super Electric Longboard Scooter. Today, we finish more electrical work. I happen to have three of these power connectors I've extracted from old battery backup UPS units, the big industrial units. I will be using one for the charger circuit, one for the motor, and one for the batteries. And therefore, I can disconnect the battery from the motor to plug the uh, batteries into the charger. I like to solder my electrical connections and then cover them up with heat shrink tubing. After the heat shrink has been applied, I cover in electrical tape. Here, I connect the motor to the battery and test it with the broken potentiometer that came with the motor. And wow, the motor works! Now I'm measuring for the proper wire length I will be needing for the potentiometer. For this, I ordered a sliding potentiometer online. It was far cheaper than buying one of those handlebar mounted ones. And I'm on a very, very tight budget, so this is what we went with. Lucky for me, the speed controller within the motor runs on a 10k ohm potentiometer. It runs off of three wires and they were pretty easy to connect. And what do you know? My wiring works! Woohoo! That's the wiring pin out I did. And so now to finally solder everything and make it permanent. Now that all the wiring is done, here's a quick overview of everything. There's the battery, here's the fuse, here's the connection that goes to the charger here, or you can unplug it and plug it into the motor here, which then has a wire running to the speed knob, the potentiometer. The more I move it to the right, the faster the motor goes. There we go. The tire I'm using has a different size gear and chain than the motor that came from this part scooter. I will be taking this apart and hoping that the gear will be able to transfer to the other tire. I had a little trouble at first removing the gear, but once I got it unscrewed, I can see obviously that it will not fit on the other wheel. The other wheel has four bolt pattern versus this wheel, it threads on to a circle thing. So now I'm struggling to try to remove the gear from the other wheel, which uh, was never meant to be removed. So I counted the teeth on the gear from the original scooter and I had to order a replacement, so now we have to wait. Be sure to check out day 8, where we finally add a gear to the rear wheel. Please consider helping us on Patreon. We can really use the help. Thank you for watching and be sure to like, subscribe, follow and all those wonderful things. Thank you very much.